Ghana switching over to go back in. This is the best decision they could have made. Right back after this. Last year, we told you that the Central Bank of Ghana which is also known as the Bank of Ghana, is now focusing on the purchasing of more gold from gold mining companies in the country to change the country's reserve from the US dollar to gold. The Bank of Ghana will soon start purchasing gold from the local market to help shore up its reserves. The move has been described as historic as it marks the first time the central bank is embarking on domestic gold purchasing. This event is indeed historic as it marks the first time the Bank of Ghana is embarking on a domestic gold purchasing to augment our foreign reserves with a view to doubling our gold holdings in our foreign exchange reserves portfolio. A few months after that report, this man, known as Dr. Alahaj Mahmoud Baumia, who is the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, announced a new butter agreement that has been introduced by the government of Ghana called the Gold for Oil Initiative. And this simply means that the country is now going to trade their reserve gold for oil instead of buying them with reserve currencies like the US dollar or the European euro. And according to Dr. Baumia, this will help to keep the prices of petroleum products in the country low and also stabilize the CD currency. So let's hear that from Dr. Baumia himself. We have to look for fundamental solutions to some of our problems. As our foreign exchange reserves have declined, the depreciation of the city, as I have noted, has accelerated. A major source of city depreciation has been the demand for foreign exchange to finance the import of oil products. In fact, our import of oil products is around $3 billion annually. Persistent city depreciation increases the cost of living with higher prices for fuel, transportation, utilities, food, and so on. Many governments, including ours, are facing a very difficult economic crisis that requires solutions that must come out of the box. How do we stop the depreciation? How do we stop the persistent increases in the prices of fuel and utility? We have been thinking about this long and hard. When you think about it, ladies and gentlemen. The challenge that we face is a limited access to foreign exchange. As our foreign exchange reserves have depleted and the demand has not fallen, but the demand has been relatively steady for that for lower foreign exchange reserves. And so the demand exceeds the supply and then you have depreciation. So the thinking that we said, okay, how do we get in more foreign exchange reserves for the country to be able to stem this gap between the demand and the supply? One of the things that occurred to us and to me was why aren't we able to accumulate reserves in terms of gold? We have focused on accumulating reserves over the years in terms of US dollars and other currencies. But gold is a foreign exchange reserve. And the unique feature of gold is that we are endowed with gold. We produce gold in Ghana. Which means <laughs> you don't have to export gold to end that foreign exchange. You have to export cocoa, you have to export timber and other goods. Uh, foods and so on to end the foreign exchange. With gold, immediately you dig it up. Uh, it, can, it is foreign exchange. Yeah, so you are essentially digging up foreign exchange. So I said, let me check how much gold we have accumulated in Ghana thus far. And when you look at the data between independence and 2021, we had ac accumulated just eight tons of gold. Eight tons. We are one of the largest gold-producing countries in the world. 
that we had accumulated eight tons. When I looked at the United States, they have over 8,000 tons. The IMF, many other countries in Europe are dealing with gold reserves of over 2,000 tons. And we have eight, single eight tons of gold. We proceeded to say the Bank of Ghana, you know, we suggested to the central bank to begin a gold purchase program systematically to build up our reserves in gold. And the gold program uh, started last year and it is proceeding quite well. But to address this fundamental challenge that we all face of the persistent depreciation and its impact in, on fuel, in utility prices, food, and so on, government has opted to implement a policy of using our gold to buy oil products. That is something new, and it is the batter of sustainably mined gold for oil. And this is one of the most important economic policy changes in Ghana since independence. If we implement it as we have envisioned, it will fundamentally change our balance of payments and significantly reduce the persistent depreciation of our currency with its associated increases in fuel, electricity, water, transport, and food prices. Why would it stop these persistent increases in fuel, water, and food prices? It is, it is very simple. This is because the exchange rate, whether you are looking at the spot exchange rate or the forward exchange rate, will no longer directly enter the formula for the determination of fuel or utility prices once we implement this because the purchases of fuel and, and for transport and utility is going to be in cities. It's not going to be in dollars. So the, because you're buying that fuel with gold, that is where the exchange takes place. But once you sell that fuel, you sell it in cities. And then the Bank of Ghana uses those CDs to buy more gold and buy the oil, you sell it, and then it goes around in that way. But essentially, essentially, you are taking the exchange rate out of the equation. Today, our fuel prices are being priced at an exchange rate, a forward exchange rate of 19 CDs to the U.S. dollar. Today, what we are paying at the pump is being priced at 19 cities to the US dollar. So you can imagine when you price without the exchange rate in the formula, which is what is going to happen, we've already done some simulations, then you will see that the prices of fuel will come down. And similarly, for PURC, uh, if the exchange rate doesn't enter the equation, which it shouldn't because the transactions will be in cities, Similarly, then electricity tariffs will also have to come down. Because what you are now going to see, because one of the biggest, I mean, when you look at what drives fuel price increases, what drives electricity price increases, and therefore the cost of doing business, it's fundamentally the exchange rate. Major, major um, driver of these price increases. So if you are able to have a handle on the exchange rate, movement, uh, you are able to lower the depreciation of the currency at the same time as you lower this. And you are going to lower the depreciation of the currency because instead of the oil importers, especially the BDCs, going to the Bank of Ghana's window uh, every few weeks to ask for foreign exchange to import oil, that one goes away. So we are saving $3 billion annually from the lack of uh, demand from the Bank of Ghana for the foreign exchange. So that reduces the pressure on the CD immediately. And therefore, you will see uh, much, much slower uh, depreciation of the currency.
And this was not a joke because on January 15, 2023, Ghana received its first consignment of 40,000 metric tons of oil from the United Arab Emirates as part of the government of Ghana's Good for Oil Butter policy, which is one of their efforts to provide enough petroleum products for consumers and also address the city depreciation against other major trading currencies. The petroleum product was discharged and sold by state-owned entities Enterprise Bulk Oil Storage and Transportation Company Limited boast to other bulk oil distributors companies across the country. And according to Bulk Oil Storage and Transportation Company Limited boast, this good for oil first consignment can serve consumers between 10 to 15 days across the country. So, officially, the United Arab Emirates has been the first country to respond positively to this creative government of Ghana's good for oil initiative. But I don't really know why these Arabs are too obsessed with gold. So you Ghana can- is waking up and they are waking up quick because this news is the best news. Ghana switching over to go back in is something that is that should have been, okay? Not is, but should have been. Like we should have been made this decision to switch over. And I was just wondering when Ghana was going to wake up and be like, you know what? We got to switch over. We got to do something different because this American dollar, it's not working for us. And I'm just so glad that Ghana has taken the initiative yet again to make their own moves. Like, go Ghana. Now, I've been feeling like gold, gold, gold. I've been sensing this. And right now is the best time to invest in gold. No, no better time than the present time to invest. It's good to get some stocks and gold, and it's also good to actually physically own some gold as well, some gold bars as well. So, you know, gold is low right now, and so, which is why it is the best time to invest in. I mean, I don't know everything about stocks, but I do know to buy low and sell high, and right now, gold is all the way down, and trust me, in time to come, you are going to be thankful if you make the decision to invest right now because when it goes up, baby, it is such a transfer of wealth happening right now. And not everybody's going to get that. A lot of people are still sleeping and snoring and going to miss the opportunity. But for those of us who are awake and very much aware of the, the signs of times and what's happening and how the universe is literally shifting and we take advantage of the opportunities presented, we are going to be in a much better place in the future to come. So it may look like, oh, no, why would I invest in gold? It ain't even doing that well on the market. But let me tell you something. Gold is a natural resource. Gold will forever be around. It's never going to be a moment where we're not going to need gold. Silver, another good investment in this moment. So it's like we have to start waking up and making these good investments now. It may not be an immediate payoff, but it is going to be a future payoff and it is going to be well worth it if you take the initiative to go ahead and just make that decision to invest. And it doesn't even have to be a a huge amount of money. You can start little, $20, $30, income that you have coming in. You just take a little bit and you take it and you invest it. And you just consistently do that over the course of time before you know it, you're going to have this huge amount of money invested and it didn't even take a whole lot of effort. All it took was just a moment of separating a few dollars and putting it towards an investment. I'm telling you, you do it now, you're going to be thankful in the future. So I know for me personally, I have for sure made the decision to invest in gold. It's down right now. I've invested, I'm in, and I'm riding this wave because I know that in due time, it is going to pay off and it's going to pay off big. So big ups to Ghana for making a decision to turn this thing around not following, again, the ways of the world and what the world is doing. Standing up to America and saying, we're not doing things your way. We have our own idea, our own thoughts, and we are following through with what it is that we see fit for our country. So I'm not sure if any other African country has joined the bandwagon or if it's something that they've already been doing, which is um, having a gold back in. But I'm so glad that Ghana has woken up to join the rest, if that is so and that they're joining the gold team. Ghana deciding to switch over to gold back and to purchase oil is the best decision that could have possibly been made for this country. 
I feel that for too long, Ghana has been relying on the American dollar to get the country by. Using the American dollar to go buy oil when you have your own natural resource of gold. I'm glad that Ghana has woken up to this reality that, hey, why are we using American dollar spending, you know, this high exchange rate to purchase oil when we could just use our own natural resource of gold to trade for oil? It makes so much sense. And I feel like Ghana should have done this a long time ago. But you know what? There is a time for everything and the time is now. Now we get to see lower prices at the pump. So all of us that's out here driving in these streets of Ghana and just been stressed out over these gas prices, we are going to be so thankful when we see the prices of fuel go down. And it's all thanks to Ghana switching over to this gold back end. Overall, I feel like it's going to stabilize the economy. And it only makes sense. Like Ghana is a producer of gold. Like it grows here. So why not utilize your own natural resource? You have other countries who's, taking, who's coming here, taking advantage of the gold here and being very lucrative because of it. And here we have full on set access to this and we're not even utilizing our own natural resource. I'm so glad that Ghana is waking up to the possibilities of our country and not following the paths of others anymore like it's time for a change and ghana is really setting the tone for a better future for this country it's slow and steady but they are surely going to win the race in due time so if ghana continues on this path of slow and steady and doing what's necessary to get this country in order and on track before you know it the world's gonna wake up and ghana is going to be a superpower i'm telling you i feel it coming and it's only a matter of time, mark my words. So now is the best time. If you have not considered, consider investing in gold. Consider investing in buying some gold bars for yourself. And I'm telling you, you're going to thank yourself in the future. Not only that, but a collapse is going to happen. The American dollar is not going to be around forever. And I think that that's what a lot of people in America and just worldwide in general feel that this American dollar is going to be ever sustaining and you are going to be in a world of SHIT if you stand behind that because it's only a matter of time. I could say less because it is only a matter of time before everyone sees. Like it's just not talk. So many millionaires and billionaires speaking out about this very situation right now about how an economic collapse is coming. The dollar is going to fall, baby. And when it falls, I just for sure hope that you got your ducks in a row because you do not want to be caught in that storm. I know I don't. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Ghana switching over to gold? I think it's a great step in the right direction. But drop a comment and let me know. This is the end of the video. But be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe.